clearly you can do a month by month uh, statement as well, but that's going to get somewhat tedious given the fact that you have an entire year. You might run the last three months, for example, the last quarter, you could go from 10, 01, 22, and run that. And, and then, so, so, and then I'm going to go not quarters, but months. And so that could be a, a common comparison. So now I've got three months. If it's the beginning of the year, a month by month comparison could be quite common. If you're at the end of the year, it might get more tedious. If I did the whole year, by the way, going from uh, 01, 01, 22 to December and running that, then the to it's, I still have the total over here giving me the data for the entire year. So you could you know, run a report such as that as well. When you print this report, you got to be careful because now it's going to be quite wide. So you want to still try to fit it on one page wide and it becomes a bit of an issue there. But you might do something like that. You could have an income statement by month by month. And I'm going to copy that. And I'll say save customization. And let's make this number three income statement by month. I'll save it. 